As you start flow design, a wind tunnel appears around the model and the flow simulation begins. Flow design automatically configures the wind tunnel based on the model size and shape. If the default wind tunnel isn't the right size for your model or the model isn't in the right orientation, you can easily change the setup using the techniques we'll explore in this video. As we go through this video, please follow along in flow design. Feel free to pause the video at any time to practice the skill we're discussing. To start, click the flow design icon from your desktop and select a sample model. Let's begin with the wind tunnel size. For accurate flow results, the wind tunnel should extend about two times upstream and four times downstream the length of the model. Around the model, the distance should be two to three times the size of the model in each direction. If the model is physically on the ground, then the wind tunnel should be flush or slightly below the model. To change the wind tunnel size, click Wind Tunnel from the ribbon. To change a dimension, grab one of the manipulators and drag it to the desired size. Go ahead and try it. Grab the manipulator on the top face and drag it away from the model. To activate your changes, click OK. Now here's a helpful hint. To resize symmetrically, click L on your keyboard and then drag a manipulator. Try it and drag one of the sides. To disable symmetric resizing, just click L again. Let's take a look at controlling the flow speed. To change the flow speed, simply drag the slider on the wind tunnel settings dialog or key in a value. Go ahead and try it. As you change the flow speed, the simulation automatically updates to the new value. Here's a helpful hint. If you greatly reduce the flow speed, it's a good idea to move the plane just a little. This resets the simulation and helps update the flow quicker. If you need to simulate wind moving over the model from a different direction, you can change the orientation of the model. To do this, click Orientation and drag the sliders to rotate about the three axes. It's a good idea to have Dynamic Update checked so you can see your changes in real time. Go ahead and try it. The x-axis extends between the front and the back faces. The y-axis extends between the sides. And the z-axis extends between the top and bottom faces of the tunnel. As soon as we close the dialog, the simulation restarts. One final note, in the standalone version of flow design, we reorient the model and not the wind tunnel. In the CAD plugins, we change the wind tunnel orientation and not the model. 